Well, the reason why I decided to go to the Hopkins Bunging Center is because I had been working for a couple of years at a research organization, and I um, was called upon to use my Chinese skills, and I felt like they had kind of slipped in the couple of years I'd been out of school. And so I wanted to work on my Chinese, but I didn't want to do another language program, like I had done at undergrad, where you, you know, learning lots of vocabulary and working on grammar and um, uh, reading, you know, just cultural texts. Um, and what I wanted to do was something more substantive. Um, and the Hopkins Bunjing Center was really great for that, um, because um, you take classes, they're graduate level classes in Chinese, and so you're learning a lot of the language, of course, because you have to look up a lot of those words um, to do the reading and write, write your papers. Um, but you're not just learning language. You're actually working on substantive material, and you're reading um, ideas from Chinese scholars, which is, is really great. And I would say the, the one thing that – oh, I got a lot of things out of that program, but um, one thing that really stands out for me – um, and my time at SAIS is the ability to read academic work in Chinese, which has enabled me to do research um, in Chinese, and that's been really great. And I don't think I could have done that um, had I not spent a year um, reading <laughs> a lot of academic work in Chinese. So.